Hi, I'm Lucy and in this video we're going to look at frequency tables. These numbers are enough to cause someone a headache and there's only 200 of them. Lots of data sets have thousands or even millions of pieces of data. So we need to collect and record the data in tables to make it manageable. Thankfully, we can group this data into a nice neat table like this, which we could then easily put into a bar chart. Sometimes the data can be left as individual numbers and sometimes it's easier to group it like I group the exam results. So we have these ages. We can collect them into a frequency table by tallying. 16, 19, 20, 22, 19, and carrying on for all the data. Then add up your tally marks to get the frequency. And we have a completed frequency table which is much easier to work from. I could have just as easily chosen to group the numbers into categories, for example. When creating grouped frequency tables, if possible, it's best to try and make the groups the same size. So let's go back to our exam results. These groups are different sizes. This one is 10, these are 14, and this one is 30. Let's try and make them more equal. We know the lowest mark was 22% and the highest mark was 100%. So the range of results is 78%. Now, because we have A star, A, B, C, D and E, so six groups, work out approximately how big each group should be by dividing the range by six. We want each group to be about 13% in size. Starting from the bottom at 22. Add 13 is 35. So the next group starts at 35. Adding 13 each time and then fill in the rest of the group at the end. We now have six groups that are pretty much the same class width. Here are some questions for you to do. Pause the video, work them out, and click play when you're ready. How do you get on? One final question for you to do. Create four equal groups or classes for this data. Pause the video, work it out, and click play when you're ready. Did you get the groups right? So that's the end of frequency tables. They're very useful for collecting data together to make it much easier to handle. We can then calculate averages or draw different graphs from them, like histograms, which we'll look at in another video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.